Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy Yashua Gaming. So today, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna do a small unboxing video. Okay, let's see what we've got from Amazon Prime. Alright, so I'm gonna what? Alright, boys. So let's see what's inside this. And here we go, guys. This is a GeForce GT 1030 Zodiac Edition, low profile. Alright, this is a gift for you. Our zone gift receipt. Alright, so let's um wrap this all right so you ready let's see what okay so as you can see we've got a cd okay i believe this is a driver so put that aside and we've got also a quick installation guide okay and here we go here's a low profile bracket okay this is a low profile bracket guys And here's our card. Okay, this is our this is our GPU. Alright guys, so as you can see this is our GPU here. As you can see it has fan here yeah, fine here. And currently this is um as you can see it's a full size bracket. So you'll have to unscrew that and you'll have to uh use this low profile bracket. Okay, you have to replace that and then I'm gonna also show you guys um, the performance okay I'm, I'm also gonna show you how uh, how are we gonna install this into a, a small form factor okay Dell Optiplex 790 small form factor All right how to install this graphic card in the Dell Optiplex and I'm also gonna show you the performance of Fortnite on Valorant and other esports titles. Alright, so yeah, here it's how it looks. Uh, I'm not gonna touch that hint sink. Okay, we've got the cart, and as you can see, we've got the hint sink with a fan. Okay, alright, so yeah, take a good look. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how you can uh, replace the full size bracket to the low profile bracket. Okay, so you'll need of two tools. So the first tool that you'll need is a, uh, okay, it's something like this, okay. This is a small nose, okay, long nose, pliers, and you'll need of uh, a Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so to begin with, first, as you can see here, you have to remove this screw, and from here you have to use uh, the pliers, you have to remove that, this screw, and then this one. Okay, so let's do that. And as you can see, I have removed them and here are those screws. Okay, do not lose them. Next, what we're gonna do, we're gonna unscrew this one. So for that, I'm gonna use this. All right. As you can see, it's gonna easily come off. Okay, and do not lose this screw as well. Okay, as you can see, this is a full size bracket. So, this is how we remove the full size bracket. Okay, so we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna grab the low profile bracket. Hold on. Okay, now we're gonna install the low profile bracket. 
Next, we still need to screw that back, okay? And that's all guys we've done securing those uh, screws and now it's time that we that we go and install this uh, that we plug this on our mo motherboard into our system and let's see how it performs okay but before that we we'll have to install the latest drivers as well okay and don't worry I'm gonna show you all okay Alright guys, so to install it, so what we, we're gonna need to do, we're gonna need to pull this up, okay, and then slide this. Alright, so next what we're gonna do, um, as you can see the cable management is a mess here, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the optical drive, okay, and then I'm gonna remove this as well. Okay, the hint sink, okay, the fan, and then we're gonna have to install the graphic card in the blue one. Okay, this is a PCI, uh, this is a PCIe uh, 16. Okay, and the black one is a PCIe X8. Okay, it's uh, the black one, it's much slower than the uh, blue one. So you're gonna grab your graphic card and you're gonna put it here okay so here you you're gonna you're gonna pull this up okay okay you're gonna pull this up and you're gonna remove this um okay, gently just as you can see it's gonna remove okay so let's put it here next um we're gonna grab our graph card and we're gonna insert it here all right all right so as you can see i've removed the hard disk okay and i remove the optical drives all right so now here i have full species here as you can see so now i can install the graphic card i can insert it into the blue one okay now it should fit. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna align this first, and then okay, this should be aligned. All right. And as you can see, guys, that's it. As you can see, once you align it, okay, you just press down on it, okay, just press down. And it should take its place okay and then all you got is to close this all right so we're gonna close this and now we're gonna uh, re-add the hard drive we're gonna add the op optical drive and then we're gonna connect the SATA cables okay and we're gonna boot up this machine guys all right, the next step, what I'm going to do is use the optical drive, as you can see. Okay, all right, so I'm just going to slide this in. Oops, just keep it here. Like this as you can see it's seated now we're gonna connect the SATA cable all right and we're gonna connect this all right now we are up and running now 
uh, just move this side. Alright, this is the last step. All I'm gonna close this. As you can see, I'll settle. Now I'm gonna turn on the power. Okay. Alright guys, so after you have installed it, okay, so just uh, launch your Windows and look for Windows Update and as you can see here, it says NVIDIA Display, okay, uh, version 26.21.14, so okay, pending download and uh, just download all of your Windows Update guys, so in this way, it's going to update the drivers as well, okay, and if you don't want to update using the windows update then you, you can use uh, uh, this disk okay which has come with the uh, as you can see Zuta graphic cards so let's install that all right so here what you're gonna do you're gonna pop this thing and this is gonna bring up so you're gonna add the disk okay like this and you're gonna close this as you can see and on your screen it should be open if we look at it right now And as you can see guys, uh, it detected, so you can click here and you can run the this. So this is going to bring you to the tech installation disk, so you're going to click driver installation. Okay, quick install guide. Just click the, just click the driver installation and it will be done. Okay. Alright guys, so... Let's do that. I'm going to power on. And here we go guys. Windows started. Okay without any problems okay it started to boot up okay so you have to um now this is a graphic card okay the gpu do does have a slot for hdmi so i've connected the hdmi here and then i hook it up on my tv okay all right so now it's up and running so let's get this thing Look at you, alright. Alright, so you might uh, notice some glitches. Okay, so for the first time, you'll have to um, you'll have to install the driver. Okay, this is a driver, or if you don't have an internet connection, okay. But who nowadays doesn't have internet connection? Alright, so you can go uh, to the to the driver, okay, to the Zotac drivers page, home page, and then you can download and install the the right drivers for you as well, okay. Right, so. Okay, guys, so you'll probably get this, then all you gotta do is to click OK, and as you can see, it is uh, currently installing the driver. Alright, so just wait on this screen guys and here all, all you got is to click agree and uh, install okay as you can see this is the latest nvidia geforce experience version 3.4.070 uh, okay 
Alright, so I hope this tutorial was helpful, guys. Definitely give this video for a thumbs up and don't forget to smash up the like button and ring that bell notification, guys. Peace.